Seven and oh. What's going on everybody? Spunky Nights number one coming you guys another video. Coming at you guys my Eagle Steelers post game reaction video. So another game in the books resulting in another Eagles win. Eagles defeating their um, interstate rival the Pittsburgh Steelers by a score of 35 to 13. This game was the Jalen Hurts and uh, AJ Brown. It was the Jalen Hurts and AJ Brown game. It, it truly was. Um, both were just absolutely phenomenal. This was one of those games where Jalen Hurts was just dropping dimes to receiver after receiver, but in particular, A.J. Brown, three touchdowns in the first half. Um, A.J. Brown had five catches for 13 yards in the first half alone. Just a just absolutely dominate performance. I think this game right here, the way that Jalen Hurts played this game, definitely helps elevate his case and put him up there in consideration when it comes to MVP on the season. Obviously still a lot more football left to go, but one of the biggest knocks on Jalen Hurts was that he hadn't thrown a lot of touchdowns, which is true. But Jalen Hurts, you know, Jalen Hurts was scoring touchdowns with his legs and his arm, but this game, four touchdowns in total in this game. Jalen Hurts was phenomenal. A.J. Brown showed exactly why the Eagles traded for him. Just the chemistry that those two are building together is just, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. It truly is. Um, today, you no, know, the defense today was was kind of up and down today, but the, the defense held the the, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers at 13 points. So, you know, you, you you can't ask for much more. Obviously, you you would like to see them shut teams out every week, but that's not the case in the NFL. It's not always going to be those type of games. But they only no the, the Pittsburgh Steelers only scored 13 points, so I give the defense um I, I give the def the defense a C plus for their performance today. Overall, just a dominate performance by the Eagles, man. You know a team win, so I don't really have much criticism really to throw at either side. You know defense or offense, um but 
like I said, man, a win is a win. Um, blowout win by the Eagles, a dominate win, so I'm happy. Um, short week here. Eagles, of course, have a um, matchup against the Houston Texans next week. Uh, I talk about that game. Uh, obviously, um, I have to get the video out for that game. Um, you no, know, early this week because that that game is gonna be on Thursday night. But this game right here, seven and zero, man. That's that's all that matters right now. We'll worry about the Texans in a couple days. Now, looking at the stats for this game, like I told you, um, just a phenomenal day by Jalen Hurts. Phenomenal day by um, AJ Brown. Um, no, particularly that first half by A.J. Brown. Now, looking at the stats of this game, Jalen Hurts was 19 for 28, 285 yards passing, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Gardner Minshew was brought in later in the game when the game was completely in control for the Eagles. He had one 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 uh, pass attempt, two. I'm um, excuse me, one one uh, completion, two pass attempts, 23 yards. Now, rushing, Miles Sanders had a pretty solid day. Nine carries for 78 yards, 8.7 average a catch, a touchdown. Um, Boston Scott, seven carries for 21 yards, 3.0 yards a, um, a carry. Uh, Jalen Hurts only ran twice in this game, two, two runs for 10 yards, 5.0 yards a carry. Kenneth Gainwell, one carry for three yards. Now receiving, A.J. Brown, like I said, had a phenomenal day in that first half. Not a whole lot in the second half, but what he did in that first half was just a lot of fun to watch. Six catches for 156 yards, um, 26.0 average a catch, three touchdowns. Um, Dallas Goddard, six catches for 64 yards, 10.7 average a, a catch. Um, Zach Pascal. Two catches for 57 yards, 20, 28.5 yards a catch. He also got his first receiver touchdowns of Philadelphia Eagle today. Um, that was on Jalen Hurts' fourth touchdown today. Um, Kenneth Gainwell, one catch for eight yards. Now going to the, def the defensive stats, TJ Edwards had a, had a good day today on defense. Nine tackles, five tackle assists. Four, um, Chauncey Gardner had seven tackles, one, one tackle assist. He also had the interception. Javon Hargrave, six tackles, two tackle assists. Javon Hargrave had a pretty good day as well with two with two sacks. Um, Avante Maddox, six tackles. Uh, Kazir White had five tackles, six tackle assists. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell had four, um, not, not Kenneth Gainwell. <laughs> Marcus Epps had four tackles, three tackle assists. My apologies. Um, James Bradbury, two tackles, one tackle assist. Uh, Marlon um, um, had two tackles. He also had a sack. Hassan Reddick, one tackle, one tackle assist. He also had a big um, um, sack for us as well. Darius Slay, one tackle. Fletcher Cox, one tackle, one tackle assist. Jordan Davis, who I'm praying for. Uh, I just got the news that he's, he's going to be out for about four to six weeks with a um, ankle injury. We dodged a bullet there. Could have been worse. But um, the big the big man had one tackle, one tackle assist. Um, Milton Williams, one tackle, one tackle assist. He also had a sack. Um, Sean Bradley, one tackle. Josh Sweat, one tackle. Um, and Kyron Johnson had one. Um, he had one tackle assist. Kick returns. Britton Covey, three returns for 67 yards, 22.3 average return. Um, that uh, on pump returns, he also had a uh, one pump return for five yards. Devontae Smith returned a punt for three yards. Um, Kicking today, uh, Jake, Jake Elliott had five extra points. He made all five extra points in the Eagles touchdowns. Um, Sipos uh, had four had four punts, 183 yards, 45.8 average a punt. He had one inside the 20, which I know a lot of Eagle fans were upset because they felt that should have been a safety there on the Steelers, but. The rule is where, you know, it, when a defense, when the when the kicking team touches the ball, it is a um, um, live ball, and uh, I know Eagle fans were upset, but but that was the right call to make. You know, it, it wasn't it wasn't a uh, uh, safety like a lot of Eagle fans thought. Um, that you know, that's just the way the rules are, the way they're constructed. It was it wasn't a um, a, a safety there. 
Um, Eagles, like I said, seven and zero. Um, they they move on to the Houston Texans in uh, in Houston on Thursday. Um, that game is gonna be at um, eight eight fifteen um, eight fifteen p.m. Um, Eastern time. Thursday night football game. So it's gonna be a short week. Eagles have to um, they have to prepare very quickly and be ready for the next game. Now talking about this game here, man. I was just absolutely no. I was just <laughs> losing my mind just watching. What I saw I Jalen Hurts today. If you're one of those Eagle fans that that still is on the fence with Jalen Hurts as our quarterback, then there's not really much I can say to you that's gonna, you know, because there's no way that anybody, in my opinion, can say right now that Jalen Hurts hasn't proven that he is worthy of being the long-term starter for the Eagles. Right now, he is playing some amazing football. He is just playing lights out right now. Um, he, he, you know, he, he's just phenomenal right now, and let's cross our fingers that continues, man. You know, seven and zero, man. You know, if you were, if you would have told me this team would have started their season off winning all seven day games, you know, their first games, um, you know, you know, winning their first seven games, I would have thought you was crazy. I would have said there's at least one or two games in there I could, I definitely could see the Eagles losing. But this team continues to handle their business. I was a little bit nervous coming to this game that. The Eagles were going to be a little rusty coming off their bye week. Um, they would know that this could possibly be a game where the Steelers, you know, could come in and upset us in Philadelphia. But this Eagles team came out firing from pretty much the very beginning. So I'm very proud of this team, man. They they they're very focused. They um you know they, they, they didn't let the bye week potentially be costly for them in this game. So I'm very proud of this team, man. The way they play, they play hard. For, they play hard for one another. They, um, they, they, you can, you can clearly tell they, 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 they play hard for Coach Serrani. This is some great football we're watching. I haven't been this excited about the Eagles team since that 2017 season when the Eagles, as we all know, went on to win Super Bowl 52. So I'm looking at this team, man. It, it, it's, it's, it's a great time to be an Eagles fan. Hell, it's a great time if you're a, if you're a Philadelphia sports fan. It's a great time to be a Philadelphia sports fan. The Philadelphia Phillies right now are in the World Series. They came back, of course, and beat the um, the, the Houston Astros in Game One. So, just a great time right now if you're a Philadelphia sports fan. You know, um, the Eagles right now are flying high. They're soaring, man, and let's hope that it continues. Um, you no, know, I'm 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 just beyond surprised by the progression of Jalen Hurts. Like, like I love the way that he carried them, like that he um you no know, his drive his hunger to get better and better and I believe I did believe that he could get better and better but I never expected him to be playing at the level that he's playing right now right now he is truly playing on the MVP level and that guy you no know, that guy right there is proving why he is definitely he definitely is the long-term solution for the Eagles at quarterback I, I was on the fence for him for a while but I can say right now Without a doubt, Jalen Hurts is the long is the long term solution for the Eagles. I don't have any more doubts in my mind. Um, you know, do I expect him to play great every single game? No, but I think this. Team, but when I look at Jalen Hurts play and I look at this team, man, we 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 have our quarterback. We got two first round draft picks in next year's draft. We'll see. You know, if Howard Rosen makes a move before the trade deadline on Tuesday or whatever, but. If I had to take a look, if I take a look right now where we're at, <laughs> I'm very happy where we're at. You know, the biggest question mark for me was the quarterback position, but the way, but Jalen Hurts has completely silenced anybody. At this point, he should have silenced anybody that is doubting him at this point. So, you know, just an absolute dominating win by the Eagles. Um, Jalen Hurts was just, just throwing bombs downfield. You know, that was one of my biggest question marks about Hurts was not only his deep ball but the accuracy of his deep ball but today he he was just on fire just putting the ball right where it needed to be for um aj brown to go up there and get it you no know, one no just no the first one a big deep bomb between i believe there was three steeler steeler uh, defenders there aj brown jumped up grabbed that ball and snatched it away and then the last two touchdowns in that first half um he threw him towards the you no know, towards the uh, 
the 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 um the, the sideline whatever in the end zone um and J and uh, AJ Brown came down with both of them. They were both put right where they need to be, so the defender had no chance to make a play on it. You know, right now Jalen Hurts is showing me that he can make any throw that is that is need of him to make. So I'm very happy what I'm seeing out of him. I'm very happy with the progression that I continue to see out of him. Um, the Steelers, you know, clearly this is a team that is um, rebuilding. There's no doubt about that. And we're going to hear another week of people who want to hate on the Eagles or will hit, you know, people that hate on the Eagles, it's going to be the same thing. Be, be, be the, you know, be the good team. Be the good team. That's what we're going to hear for yet another week. But at the end of the day, the Eagles do not, they did not make their schedule. They do, you know, they, they, they don't make their schedule. They play who they're supposed to, who, you know, they, they beat teams they're supposed to beat. They play who is on their schedule, and that's what you do in this league. You go out there and you beat teams that you're supposed to beat. That's what a good team does. So all this nonsense that we're hearing from people that want to continue to doubt the Eagles, whatever, who cares? At the end of the day, we don't control our schedule. We go out there and win games. You go out there and win games you're supposed to win. That's what a good football team does. And the Eagles are going out there and beating teams they're supposed to beat. This Steelers team with a rookie quarterback, we all, we we knew that this was not going to be some team that you know this is that's considered one of the best in the league. They're, the Steelers are not; they're pretty bad this year. But the Eagles did did what they're supposed to do. You're a very good football team. You're the only unbeaten team in the league. You go out there and you beat a really bad team. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers are are a bad team right now, and the Eagles did what they were supposed to do. And like I said, beat a bad team. That's what you do. So. I'm happy right now, man. I'm a, you know, I take this W. I'm very happy. You know, I'm very happy because this was probably the first time all season that the Eagles have played what I feel was, for the most part, a complete game. You know, the Eagles did not take their foot off the gas in the second half. They continued to be aggressive. This was a game where they continued to put the ball in the air. You know, this was a this was definitely a, a passing focus approach on offense today. And going up against, you know, a, a defense that, that has some solid players in the secondary, Mika Fitzpatrick is, in my opinion, one of the best safeties in the league. He's just on a bad team. So this was a game where the Eagles clearly came out with the game plan of attacking the Steelers secondary from the very beginning. And boy, did they attack the, the Steelers secondary. It was definitely a, pa a pass-centered game. It's not going to be that way every game. Is you know, Coach Serrani is gonna when he sees something in the defense, he sees something in the defense. He's gonna attack them based on that weakness. He saw the weakness in the in the Eagles' defense, their secondary, uh, um, and and he and he attacked them. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, without their star um, pass rusher T.J. Watt, for what I hear, he could be back next week for the Steelers. So that'd be a good that'd be a good um, return for them. But Serrani saw the weakness in their secondary and he attacked it next week against the houston texans it could be a completely different game plan it could be us attacking them on the ground so serrani is also um i was you know i was very on the fence with serrani as a head coach you know when, when when we hired him as a head coach but what i see for him the fire that he has in him the passion that he has in him i feel very good that harry roseman made the right call when he decided to hire nick serrani as our head coach this Philadelphia Eagles team is going places. They're heading in the right direction. And as a fan, it's just so much fun to watch this team play football right now. And um, we'll see what happens in the remainder of the season. Still quite a bit of football left to go. But I'm just getting those vibes, man, the way I was feeling in 2017 when this team was just stacking on, pounding on the wins week after week after week. I was just, you know, I'm starting to get that feeling. Now, obviously, last season, you know, we, um, we, not last season, 2017, we lost our week two game against the Chiefs, but then the following week, we won against the um, Giants, and then we went on that winning streak, and then the Eagles, of course, you know, lost a game here and there in that season, but playoffs, they, they, you know, they turned it up and ended up winning that Labardi Trophy. This right here is the first time the Eagles have been undefeated this far into the season since that 2004 season where the Eagles, of course, went on to the Super Bowl 
unfortunately didn't win that Super Bowl against the New England Patriots. So I, I'm starting to get that feeling, man, that this could be another special year for the Eagles right now. I was, you know, even though we had added so much talent to this roster, I was still a little, I was still a little, uh, um, you know, for me it was just, um, they have to prove it. They have to prove themselves to me before I get all, I jump all over the bandwagon. Like obviously I still root for my team, but I wasn't gonna let myself set myself up to be disappointed. But right now they are proving to me they can beat you in so many ways. It does not matter. They can beat you with the with the pass game. They can beat you on the ground. They can beat you with the defense because this is some of the best defense that we've seen in a while for the Eagles. I'm, I'm very um I'm very um pumped up for what I'm seeing with this Eagles team. And you know one thing we didn't have in 2017 that we do right now is a, that we do in 2022 is a very good secondary. This secondary is pretty damn good. Now. If I have to be, if I have to criticize one thing, it's, it's still going to be Jonathan Gannon's uh, play calling. I'm still not the biggest fan of his the way he calls defense. I feel like we didn't, even though we did get a couple sacks in this game, I still feel like we are not getting to the quarterback as well, you know, quite enough in, the, in these games. We, you know, I feel like we need to blitz a little bit more. I feel like we need to stop playing conservative with the, um, you know, with our play, with our coverages. I would like to see us come up a lot closer to the line of scrimmage and play these um these um receivers man-to-man -man press coverage. But overall, I can't say nothing. I can't really say much bad about Gannon. No, the, the, the defense did their job. They held this Pittsburgh Steelers offense to 13 points. So didn't give a whole lot of points. So that's just me nitpicking right there. The team did a good job. They got the job done. 35 to. 13. I, in my preview video, I said the Eagles were going to put up 35 points. That's exactly what they did. I gave the Steelers 21 points, but the Eagles kept them under that. I obviously had 13 points. So, hell, I'll take this win. We'll move forward. We got the uh, Houston Texans Thursday night primetime in Houston. Let's go to Houston. Let's beat those Texans. Let's improve to 8 0 in the season. As always, go Birds. Spunky Nice Night Ones out of here. Fly Eagle Fly. 7 and 0, baby. Peace. That's all, folks.